In today's video, we're going to be going from basic, okay, to body. I'm going to be showing you all how I made this very beautiful and just colorful padded headband. This headband was inspired by a video that I watched on TikTok a few weeks ago. And on that particular video, a lot of people seem to like that particular headband. So I thought, why not recreate something similar to that headband and then share on here on YouTube. So in today's video, we're going to be doing just that. I'm going to be showing you all how i made this stunning headband for myself and how you can replicate it as well for yourself thank you guys so much for 2000 subscribers we hit 2000 subscribers this morning and i've been so excited thank you to every single one subscribed to this channel and if you're yet to subscribe still please do go to hit the subscribe button like this video share with your friends and leave your comments down in the comment section let's get right into making this headband Alright my loves, so as usual I'll start off by showing you everything you need in order to make this headband so be sure to watch as I go and I'm also going to leave the names of everything I'm showing you on the screen so you can just be sure of everything I'm showing you. If this is your first time of stopping by my channel, thank you so much for dropping by. My name is Fumi B. I make videos about DIY tutorials. I make exciting headgears and just I share things that I'm very passionate about on here on my channel. So if you're yet to hit the subscribe button, please do well to join us on this family. All right, guys, what I'm doing here now is I'm trying to glue on the foam that I showed you guys earlier on onto the headband so this foam is what is going to give us a padded effect so you know the ready-made padded headbands that you guys normally see everywhere the main difference between that headband and your regular headband is the foam padding that it has i got a question a while back from someone on here asking how you know she can get a padded headband and i promised i was going to show her how to make her own padded headband at home so all you need is just to get a piece of foam right and then glue it onto your regular basic headband and that's it guys that's it once you've glued on the foam to the regular headband you just need to wrap it up and your padded headband is ready so simple so straight to the point so that's exactly what i'm doing here because i want my headband to be padded i decided to you know get a piece of foam and then glue it onto a basic headband and then go ahead from there to make my beautiful accessorized headband the next thing I'm doing is I'm just trimming off the excess foams by the side of the headband and this is what we have here. My foam and my headband are matching each other, you know, on the sides. The, my, my foam is not sticking out of the side of the headband. So next up, I'm going to measure the length of my headband, right? So from ear to ear, that's what I'm doing. And my headband is about 22 inches long. It's like 22 and a half, they're about. But for the fabric, I'm going to be cutting a fabric of 23 inches just to give me enough allowance for you know wrapping my headband and all of that and i'm also going to measure how wide my headband is at the midpoint and at the edges so that's exactly what i'm doing here and at the edge i think my headband is about 3.5 inches wide plus the foam of course and at the middle it's about seven inches wide so i decided to cut a piece of fabric that is four inches wide right on fold so four inches on fold is like eight inches and then at the edges i'm going to measure the amount of you know dimension that is going to fit my headband perfectly so just watch me as i go what i'm marking here is my 23 inches on my piece of fabric i'm also going to rule that and then i'm going to find the midpoint of this fabric then mark it as well but first of all let's cut off the 23 inches long fabric that we have and this is it here i'm going to fold it over to the wrong side so i can do my markings on the wrong side i try as much as possible to you know when i have to mark my fabrics i mark it on the wrong side this is just to prevent you know my chalk showing on the right side of the fabric whenever i wear anything i make for myself this applies to you know making dresses as well i try as much as possible to mark my dimensions on the wrong side of the fabric so i'm marking 11 and a half inches here which is like the midpoint of this material and i'm also at the edges marking about one and a half inches so that's just to give it a firm you know placement on my headband when i go ahead to pass it through. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to connect the lines to each other. I have already made a video similar to this. I'm going to link that video somewhere on the screen. A simple minimalistic headband that I shared with you guys a few weeks ago. I think last week or two weeks ago. I'm not quite sure. But I'm going to link it on the screen anyway just in case you missed it and you missed it. So it's the exact same process, right? The markings you're doing is similar to what I did in that other video. The only difference is this headband is padded and then the, the, the design on it is kind of different from that other headband so what i'm doing now is just 
you know joining connecting the lines together and i'm also going to trim or is it trim now i'm going to just soften the sharpness of that midpoint just to make it a bit curved right because i don't want it to be too sharp and then yeah the result will not be great so i'm just going to use my chalk just to curve out the sharpness of that midpoint a little and then i'm going to go ahead to cut it up and then move on to the next thing so with the cutting is just basic right i showed you guys the scissors you need the scissors for this particular headband so you need to just take your time cut your fabric away and then well not away cut off the dimension that you need and then trim off all the unnecessary parts and then we'll move on to the next point this is another call to action if you're still watching this video and you're yet to subscribe to the family you see we are moving okay we are 2,000 subscribers now and i'm going to see if we can hit 3,000 in this month of may so please if you're yet to hit the subscribe button please do well to join us it will be really really nice to have you in the family also if you've been enjoying this video be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up that thumbs up helps youtube spread my videos to a wider audience so what i've done now is i joined the two edges of my cut out piece of fabric together just to close it up and i left a space of about two inches there for me to be able to turn my fabric inside out feel free to leave the edges alone and turn it inside out from the edge whatever works for you but as usual don't forget to close up any space that you leave anyway you're going to see how i'm going to close up all the spaces i have in my own ball just a point a uh, pointer that you know don't forget to close up any space you leave any allowance for passing or turning fabric inside out make sure you cover it up so this is my fabric turned inside out next up i'm going to be passing my foam my padded headband now not foam headband <laughs> i'm going to put in my padded headband into this piece of jean material and yeah it was a bit of a struggle but we prevailed we prevailed okay guys so after doing that i'm going to close up the edges right with this my binder clip first of all i'm still going to go ahead to do a bit of hand stitches just to close up that part and i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to do it but for this part i'm trying to make sure that the jean material fits perfectly into the you know foam padded headband and adjusting and making sure that everything is right so what i'm doing now is i'm tucking in the edges of my headband just like this right to give me this kind of result and then i'm going to get my needle and thread just to you know sew it together if you know you prefer using your sewing machine feel free but because i like to just vary the instruments and tools i use in making my headband so this time i'm going to be doing hand sewing instead of taking the edge now to my sewing machine for this part that i'm sewing of course i can't use my machine to get to this part i have to hand sew but for the edges if you know you, you are not interested in hand sewing feel free to take it to your sewing machine and be careful when sewing it you know together so next up i'm going to be doing this part of course like i said earlier sewing up the edges and this is pretty much it for the padded headband alone if you know you don't want to do any form of embellishment you can just end it here once you're done closing up all the open spaces your padded headband is ready right but because i want to take it extra a little notch i'm going to go ahead to get some items from flowers beads and stones just to accessorize my headband i found out that the headband was not feeling firm enough so i came back again to do a bit of hand sewing just to make things firmer and this is it guys this is my regular padded headband and i wrapped it in jeans and this is it it's totally wearable just like this if you are someone that doesn't like you know accessorizing and stones and blings and all of that but i love beads i love stones i love flowers i'm a very extra person when it comes to my headgear so i'm going to be embellishing mine and i'm going to be using some stones some beads some flowers and all of that just to give me the results that i saw on that particular video that i saw on tiktok so i'm using some flowers these flowers are things you can get from a sewing accessory shop every single thing i use in this video are things you can get from a sewing accessory shop so the jeans material i got it from a fabric shop the flowers i got it from a sewing accessory shop the foam i found it in some random shop it took me a while to find it though but i found it in a shop where they sell carpentry materials here in port harcourt i got the piece of foam and a very long strip was about a thousand five hundred naira it's a lot that piece of foam is going to last me a very long time and all i'm doing for this flowers and stuff is just gluing it on there's no particular method i just try to glue it in a very aesthetically pleasing way and this is me now i'm ready to rock my embellished headband it looks so pretty i decided to lose the earring because it wasn't giving me the vibes i wanted with this particular look and this is it guys this is the end of this video this is my beautiful 
accessorized headband does this headband look like something you're going to be willing to wear or do you think it's too colorful what do you guys think let me know down in the comment section i want to get your feedback but me personally i love this headband and the day i wore it out it, a lot of people kept asking me where i bought it from and it was so cool for me to say oh i made it myself i made it myself that is why i usually share my tutorials for people that like to do stuff with their hands as well so you guys can also tell people that you made whatever you're you know rocking if it's an outfit a headband you can tell them that you made it all by yourself and you can also teach your daughters okay your daughters that are grown up enough to make things for themselves you can teach them how to make all these my diy tutorials and it's so nice for them to you know start to make cute things for themselves so thank you guys again for watching if you've made it to this point and you're still yet to subscribe this is the last call to action and the last one as usual is a sweet one so make sure you smash the subscribe button down below like this video i'm sure you enjoyed watching i mean you made it to this point in the video smash the like button okay also let me know your feedback down in the comment section next week sunday we are going to be doing something very very exciting and i'm going to be leaving it on the screen we're going to be making this very popular headband that a lot of people on instagram love i'm going to be showing you all how i made it and yeah if you've not joined us make sure you join us so you don't miss out on that tutorial like this video share with your friends and yeah guys i can't wait to see you guys in my next video love and appreciate every single one of you Mwah.